In the midst of an unprecedented crisis of quality and trust, American aviation giant Boeing is quietly preparing for one of the most huge strategic decisions in its history. It is preparing to launch a design for the future of air travel, a brand new aircraft to replace the 737 MAX, the one that was once a source of pride but also significantly damaged the name of the manufacturer. But here's what no one is telling you. This new aircraft will feature designs far superior to Airbus's flagship narrowbody, the A320. So what exactly is this new plane, and how can it surpass the A320? Let's find out. According to the Wall Street Journal, the American manufacturer has quietly begun preliminary design work on an entirely new single-aisle aircraft, even initiating initial talks with major engine manufacturers. What's noteworthy is that the commercial airplanes division has just been handed over to a new product chief, someone who previously led revolutionary aircraft programs. This makes the prospect of a new Boeing aircraft not only increasingly real, but also stirs curiosity about a potentially groundbreaking design. Yet this move immediately appears both urgent and puzzling, as it comes at a time when two critical variants, the MAX 7 and MAX 10, are still stuck in the certification process with the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. Why would Boeing decide to prepare a new launch now? The answer lies in its outdated legacy. Despite four major upgrades, the 737 MAX still carries a fuselage design dating back to the 1960s, a foundation far too old to remain competitive. Continuous patching of the aging airframe has led to dangerous engineering compromises, culminating in the MCAS system, which directly caused the two tragic crashes in 2018 and 2019 that killed 346 people. This is the clearest proof that the 737 MAX cannot be a long-term solution for the single-aisle segment, which remains the U.S. maker's profit cornerstone. Don't stop there. If design legacy is already a burden, recent manufacturing failures have only deepened the crisis. After a 20-month global grounding and eventual recertification, the MAX aircraft once again plunged into turmoil when a door plug panel blew out about six minutes after takeoff during an Alaska Airlines flight in early 2024, revealing that four critical bolts had never been installed. The FAA immediately capped Boeing's output at no more than 38 aircraft per month and restricted its once crucial self-certification authority. Meanwhile, the U.S. Department of Justice reopened investigations, putting the U.S. maker at risk of even harsher legal consequences. At this point, the 737 MAX is not just a safety issue, but also a structural obstacle preventing the manufacturer from scaling up production in a market starved for new aircraft. Adding to this pressure, the most urgent factor is competition from Airbus, which has continued to cement its dominance in the single-aisle market with the A320neo, offering far superior operating economics compared to the MAX. Analysts warn that unless Boeing introduces a trustworthy new design quickly, it risks losing even more market share permanently to the biggest rival. However, the appointment of a senior product chief with experience in clean sheet aircraft development underscores that Boeing's leadership is ready for a generational strategic shift. Although launching an all-new aircraft program is a massive undertaking, often costing tens of billions of dollars and taking at least a decade before entry into service, this decision, even at its preliminary stage, is a public acknowledgement that the 737 MAX cannot be the U.S. maker's future. To remain a peer competitor to Airbus in the decades ahead, the U.S. aerospace giant must accept the enormous risks and costs of such a move. So, what groundbreaking technology and form will the next-generation narrow-body jet, expected to replace the 737 MAX and currently being developed under absolute secrecy at Boeing, embody? Wait, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. We know you're going to love what's coming next. Trust us, you won't want to miss it. This is not just a mere engineering project, it is an effort to redefine the brand image after a decade of crisis. Sources reveal that the company has begun shaping the cockpit design of the future jet, a sign that Boeing is moving toward a complete architectural overhaul, breaking decisively with the design constraints inherited from the 1960s. The new cockpit must be more intuitive, more modern, and most importantly, must eliminate all doubts regarding the design philosophy that led to the past tragedies. However, the program's greatest secret lies in its flight capability. To effectively compete with the dominance of the Airbus A320neo, the maker needs to achieve a significant leap in fuel efficiency. Notably, in early 2024, the company's senior leadership, including CEO Kelly Ortberg, flew to the UK for talks with Rolls-Royce officials. Although Rolls-Royce has not disclosed any information, these private discussions revealed a key objective, exploring next-generation engine technology that can deliver significantly higher fuel efficiency. This is a bold gamble, 
as Rolls-Royce currently does not supply engines for the narrow body segment, and this partnership could give birth to an entirely new engine architecture, an economic weapon capable of changing the market landscape. Could a narrow body suitable version of the Ultrafan technology finally get its chance this time? What do you think? However, the initial contradictions have already imposed a series of critical challenges on Boeing's 737 MAX replacement project, forcing the company to confront complex and multi-layered obstacles. Adding to this pressure, industry analysts are watching every move with extreme caution, warning that the ultimate decision on whether to proceed will hinge heavily on several vital factors. The first and largest challenge is the massive financial burden. Developing a completely new aircraft program typically requires an astronomical investment, estimated in the tens of billions of dollars, and takes at least a decade before reaching commercial deliveries. This financial commitment comes while Boeing is still absorbing billions of dollars in losses from the MAX crashes and grappling with its most recent quality crisis, creating enormous pressure on the company's balance sheet. Alongside the financial strain comes high technological risk. To regain an edge over the Airbus A320neo, the U.S. maker must achieve a genuine leap in fuel efficiency, an objective that points directly to next-generation engine technologies. The confidential talks between Boeing leadership, including CEO Kelly Ortberg, and Rolls-Royce in early 2024 underscored this ambition. However, betting on an entirely new engine architecture, such as a narrow-body adapted version of Rolls-Royce's advanced ultrafan technology, is a bold gamble. Unproven technologies at scale almost always carry risks of skyrocketing development costs, certification delays, and unforeseen technical complications, precisely the pitfalls the maker is desperate to avoid. But this is something that makes it different. Regulatory and legal challenges make this program unlike any that came before it. In the wake of the 737 MAX tragedies and the troubles surrounding the 787 Dreamliner, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration is no longer lenient. The agency has curtailed the U.S. aerospace giant's ability to self-certify and is closely scrutinizing every stage of its production. With a clean sheet aircraft program, this agency is expected to apply the strictest oversight in history, demanding full transparency and rigorous safety evidence throughout every phase of design and testing. Moreover, the project unfolds under the shadow of an ongoing U.S. Department of Justice investigation into Boeing's compliance with the 2021 Deferred Prosecution Agreement, DPA. Any misstep, cost-cutting shortcut, or hint of negligence in developing the new plane could be deemed a violation of the DPA, potentially triggering severe legal consequences. This reality forces the aircraft maker not only to overhaul its engineering processes, but also to enact a deep cultural transformation, placing safety above speed and profit, a daunting task under mounting competitive pressure. Finally, the new program must overcome challenges of resource allocation and market acceptance. At present, Boeing's teams are laser-focused on recovery plans, which include clearing a massive backlog of nearly 6,000 commercial aircraft and securing certification for pending models such as the 737 MAX 7, MAX 10, and the 777-9. Redirecting top engineers and capital toward an all-new clean sheet design risks further delays to these existing programs, straining relations with customers who have already endured long waits. From a market perspective, while airlines crave efficiency, they are wary of delays and risks. Will carriers be willing to gamble on an entirely new aircraft, knowing the risks of prolonged setbacks, when the safer proven alternative of the Airbus A320neo is readily available? Boeing must therefore craft a business and engineering case that not only promises superior long-term efficiency, but also guarantees credible execution and certification, dispersing the lingering shadow of past failures. So how can Boeing overcome these daunting challenges? One of the most effective approaches is to sharpen its competitiveness on every front. For Boeing, winning back market share will require more than just unveiling a sleek new design. It demands a holistic rethinking of what it means to build, certify, and deliver airplanes in the 21st century. Airbus has not only seized the numerical advantage with the A320neo family, but also established a reputation for predictability and execution that airlines increasingly value. To counter this, Boeing's new aircraft must demonstrate breakthroughs on multiple fronts – performance, production, sustainability, and digital integration. The A320neo has set the standard for fuel savings, but the U.S. maker has a rare chance to leapfrog with next-generation aerodynamics and propulsion. If a partnership with Rolls-Royce leads to a scaled-down ultrafan or another revolutionary propulsion concept, it could unlock double-digit improvements in fuel burn. 
Combined with lighter composite structures and advanced wing designs such as folding wingtips or adaptive surfaces, the new jet could deliver operating economics far beyond what Airbus can offer with incremental upgrades. For airlines operating thin margin short and medium haul routes, even a 5-10% to efficiency advantage could tilt fleet decisions decisively toward Boeing. However, technology alone is not enough. The company must also transform how it builds planes. Airbus has gained an edge by expanding global final assembly capacity, while the U.S. maker has been hampered by repeated supply chain breakdowns and quality control failures. To reverse this, the new aircraft program must integrate digital twin and digital thread technologies from the ground up, ensuring every bolt, panel, and system is tracked in real time. By adopting leaner, modular assembly lines and restructured supplier contracts, the company could cut delivery times and restore trust that its aircraft will arrive on schedule. Speed, reliability, and volume will be as crucial as fuel efficiency. But here's the key. Airlines today are under mounting pressure to decarbonize, with governments, investors, and passengers demanding measurable climate action. Airbus has already been vocal about hydrogen-powered concepts, even if they remain decades away. Boeing's new aircraft can stake out leadership by being future fuel-ready, designed to burn 100% sustainable aviation fuel, SF, from day one, with adaptability to hydrogen or hybrid electric systems later in its life cycle. If marketed correctly, this could give carriers both immediate emissions reductions and long-term flexibility, turning sustainability from a cost into a selling point. Besides, while airlines focus heavily on costs, passenger comfort and pilot confidence cannot be underestimated. A redesigned cabin with quieter engines, improved pressurization, larger overhead bins, and more flexible seating layouts could make the aircraft more attractive for both budget and premium carriers. Moreover, for pilots, a cockpit that integrates cutting-edge avionics with intuitive, transparent controls will not only enhance safety, but also rebuild confidence in Boeing's design philosophy. After the MKS disaster, trust by design must become the new rule. Perhaps the most delicate challenge is timing. Previously, Boeing moved too slowly, and Airbus entrenched its dominance with the A321 XLR. This time, if it rushes, it risks repeating the mistakes of the MAX. The sweet spot lies in announcing a credible roadmap within the next two years, locking in airline commitments before the rival begins its own clean-sheet narrowbody effort, which analysts predict could arrive in the mid-2030s. By aligning entry into service around 2035, the U.S. aerospace giant could secure a decade of technological lead before its rival resets the cycle. Finally, and most importantly, Boeing must prove that this is not just another airplane but the start of a new corporate era. Transparent communication with regulators, rigorous testing, and visible safety-first decision-making must define the program. Only by demonstrating that it has learned from the painful lessons of the MAX can it hope to convince airlines, regulators, and the flying public that its new jet is worthy of trust. Without this cultural reset, even the most advanced aircraft risks being dismissed as another rushed gamble.